Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. It's teaching time. It's teacher's time. And some things need to made or be made clear to some of you, many of you, especially those that are misinformed, not informed, or just simply ignorant. Now, for someone to say that you're ignorant does not necessarily carry a negative slant to it and to say that someone is ignorant it just simply means by definition that you don't know it's that simple it's not complicated so here we go I've seen so many people try to throw out vitriol against me people like me but in this particular instance me not a whole lot but enough to take note of when I would uh, make comments about how great of a martial artist Bruce Lee was. And I've heard so many people say, or enough people say, well, Bruce Lee doesn't have a proven fight record. I'm going to say that again. A proven fight record. But Chuck Norris does, and this other individual does, and they was a world champion, and uh, a four or five time champion in a sport karate capacity. So Bruce Lee was not a real fighter, he was an actor. Now, why is it, my question to you is this, why is it that you have to have so many fights and championships under your belt, so to speak, to validate you as a legitimate martial artist, master, grandmaster, and so on? I thought that when we were all taught when we began martial arts that we're supposed to avoid fights. Yes, we were taught this. You never start a fight. You try to keep peace with everyone. You try to avoid fights. Didn't you learn that in your martial arts lessons? No matter what the discipline was. Kung Fu, Karate, uh, whatever the art was. You're not supposed to pick fights. You're supposed to avoid fights and keep the peace as it were. But now, all of a sudden, over the past 15, 20 years, you got these MMA fighters and people of that cloth, if you will, touting that you have to have all of these wins and so-and-so person has 15 undefeated fights and so forth, so they're, they're the deadliest man in the world and all of this other stuff. That's bull crap. Aren't we going against the principles of the art, any art, as it relates to martial arts? So, if you can leave a situation and go home and have peace and not be injured or killed, wouldn't you prefer that over fighting someone? Logically, wouldn't you want your child to be able to come home the same way? Yes, avoid a situation. Or do we, for some reason, have to stand our ground and try to be macho and cocky and so forth to show someone our wit and our brawn and our strength and just try to prove that, they're, or that you're a man? How foolish is that? And anyone that believes this and touts this misinformation, you're stupid. I'm sorry. It's just that simple. They're stupid. They are stupid. They're beyond ignorant, not knowing. They are stupid and they're not martial artists. They're not. Because in the true sense, in the true spirit of Budo, Bushido, and all of the other disciplines, in the true sense of those things, it's about character. Now there's good character and bad character. Good character is the person who tries to avoid confrontations. Remember one phrase in Enter the Dragon Bruce Lee made? The art of fighting without fighting? If I don't have to fight, why am I fighting? Who am I trying to prove something to? My girlfriend, my wife, my significant other, my children, my family, my students, my friends, that I'm a bad butt, so to speak. You know what the word is that you use. Yeah. I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. What I'm trying to do is live peaceably with my fellow man. That's what martial arts mastery is all about. Not how many butts you kicked or can kick. How cocky you are, how strong you are, if you can do the splits, or if you can throw five kicks in the air before you land. Nobody cares. At the end of the day, it's about keeping peace. It's about being disciplined in every 
aspect of your life. So, how many people have you beat? And does that make you any better than the next man? And does a karate master, grandmaster, or kung fu master, grandmaster have to have had so many fights under his or her belt in order to be validated? I think not. And anyone who believes that, silly rat, silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, and you have fooled yourself. You're disillusioned. You don't know what a martial artist is all about, or the martial arts or martial science. You don't understand it, and you never have understood it. The problem that you have is your ego, yourself, and you in the way of yourself. Understand this. And if you don't like what I'm saying, tough stuff. I'm sorry. That's because you have not matured as a human being, let alone a martial artist. That was it. And that was all.